This dog is named Willow. Willow, yes! I just want her to know that when she hears that sound, it's a really positive sound because there's going to be something in it for her. And just like the way I construct the rest of my training, I basically just try to turn it into a game. All right, so for example, I could just lead her up to this platform. Willow, yes! I could say the name followed by a little piece of food. And if you, in review, watch what I just did there. Willow! I kind of will take a step back because uh, it's kind of a seductive uh, dog's prey drive. They want to follow. So it's easy for me to sort of induce the behavior of going from over there to over here. But the timing of it is what I really want you to focus on here. Get her up here. Willow! Yes! Right? It's just a quick little pattern that you're forging for them, um, making it fun. And also, you're slamming that name right before she comes to you. So this is going to play in positively when she's... Go ahead, go over there. In the backyard, dicking around, doing whatever, going pee-pee time. You come out through the door and you're like, Willow! She immediately has a positive association to that sound. It's just a sound to them. They don't just come into this world knowing their name. Right, the name that you've chosen, the name that you just started calling them, they don't really understand the concept of that yet. And so we're just trying to give that sound a positive association so that they respond to it in a positive format and they're drawn to that sound. A lot of people use their dog's name before they punish the dog. And that's something that I try to steer away from altogether because you don't want to give that sound a negative association. Your dog isn't going to want to come to you if you're like, Willow, da da da, or you get all pissed off. That's not a really, uh, it's not something the dog is going to want to do. It's just why we don't do that. Um, so right now she's kind of rummaging for some more. Here's a really fun thing I like to do as well. I just setting up patterns, right? Because there's other, other valuable things within this fun drill of teaching her name as well, like a recall pattern, but also teaching further teaching her name. So I toss a piece of food, toss a couple pieces. She's going to go over there. She's going to eat a couple of pieces. As soon as she gets that last piece, I'm, I'm timing it up to where I know she's going to turn and look for more. Willow! Yes! Okay, because you could count on them coming up looking for more from where the food originally came from. So, Willow! Yes! And so this is something that you can continue doing life after training as well, because I know the owner of this cute little puppy willow here is going to be watching this video as well so it's one of the another reasons why i make all these videos um, not only to provide value for you guys um, and by the way if you've watched more than one or two video of videos of mine like at this point we've had the gentleman's handshake i've created the content i've put in the work i've posted the videos you've watched them for free now you owe me a subscription <laughs> toss a couple pieces she gets one willow yes Cool. So it's just, it's making learning fun. And I know that when I'm having a good time learning, I always am able to, I'm able to process it better, you know, cause I'm in a very like good mindset, good frame of mind and I'm enjoying myself. And when was the last time you wanted to stop doing something that you, you know, when you were enjoying yourself, you, know, you just want to keep doing it. It's a good time. It's good. It's good stuff. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. I really, really, really certainly do appreciate your attention. I'm Captain Chad Gabs, and um, we'll see you at the next one. If you got anything to add in the comments, let me know. Please leave a thumbs up on the video. And of course, gentlemen's handshake. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.